one of the songs is uh, Dilip Kumar, you know, drunk, lying in the street. Oh, by the way, songs were written by Sahil Ludhyanvi, whom which we discussed, uh, whom we discussed last time, we, although we didn't discuss this movie, uh, and Ashti Burman's music. So there's a song. Kisko khabar thi, kisko yakin tha, aise bhi din aayenge, jina bhi mushkil hoga, aur marne bhi na paayenge. So in the film version, Dilip Kumar himself sings the song. In the uh, album which was issued, was, uh, it was by Talib Mahmood, because, you know, so Dilip Kumar uh, was not a bad singer. We'll come to that in a minute, but let's see uh, this uh, brief scene uh, playing Drunk. In between the voice cracks, I think he did that purposely, uh, simply because, you know, it's supposed to be drunk. It shouldn't be able to sing perfectly. The leap was not a bad singer, actually. He was quite good. And he wanted to sing more. And a movie was made. Uh, I forgot who the director was. It's called Musafir. Dilip Kumar was in it. And uh, Salil Chaudhary who had the music. His songs were okay. And he plays the violin and he sings in it. And the whole idea behind much of the idea was that he would be presented to the world as a singer. Uh, uh, and and Lata was uh, also singing there. So he talked to Lata about it and so forth. And he was to be the in the forefront about the singing and all that. However, as the story goes, Lata Mangeshwar couldn't control herself. And this, when there was a duet or a song, she had to go through all the 11 octaves she could go into and show all the histrionics and all the her wonderful range, thereby showing the Dev Kumar, you can sing, but you're not, you're not like Lata Mangeshkar. He was very upset about it. And, and they say that for decades they didn't talk to each other because you know he, th that ended his <laughs> singing singing chances and career and so forth. Eventually, of course, they made up, and he there's a famous video of him introducing Damgeshkar in unbelievably beautiful, flowery, you know, Tate uh, Urdu, you know, uh, as classic. And you should watch it if you haven't watched it. You know, Dilip Kumar introducing the Damgeshkar. Anyway. Yeah. Let's listen but, to Dilip Kumar's singing in his own voice briefly. We might yeah, there was, yeah, there was an interview, I think, with BBC or something. There's no video of it. Yeah. There's an audio. We're going to play only a, not a full two minutes, maybe a few seconds, 30, 15, 20 seconds. Okay. Here we go. Sukoon Dil Ke Liye Kuch To ehtemam karun sukoon dil 
उन्हें सलाम करूं जरा नजर जो मिले फिर so, उन्हें लेट्स स्टॉप राइट देयर या या सो आई मीन यू नो मोहम्मद रफी बट ही इज क्वाइट एक्सेप्टेबल यू नो and uh, wouldn't i wouldn't have guessed this is dilip's voice if he, because it's we don't associate with his uh, yeah. uh, you know, actor singing voice yeah i mean i i mean and and then he wrote poetry also na so i wish he had sung some of his favorite ghazals or some of his own poetry like meera kumari did and all that but some of that that his command on urdu is amazing any of his speeches that he gives extraordinarily oh. his oh. amazing command on urdu uh, I mean, my my friends who, who who are who are who whose first language is urdu don't speak like that here kahan kahan se itna itna such beautiful words and as urdu itself is, is you know is so unbelievably beautiful language